Okay, so this is just a really quick video to show you how to properly set up Pint with PHP Storm. I had to search for this for quite a while because I don't think it's easily accessible to see how to do it properly. Well, what do I mean with doing it properly? When working with a team, you want everyone to have the same configuration for your pint. That means you need the same pint version. That also means you need the same configuration. Otherwise you just send yourself change sets with <laughs> different formatting, which is not uh, what formatting is meant to do. So to set up pint correctly, go to settings, then in, in the PHP tab, there is a tab called quality tools. First you go into pint and you enable the pint inspections with the rule set defined in pint.json, which is how it should be. And then you go to quality tools. In quality tools, which is uh, just the, the menu that wraps the setting we were just in, you select Laravel pint, which will automatically select the locally installed version in your project, which is always installed when working with Laravel, so you will not have any issues there. You can apply that again. And then for the last step, there's the actions on save, I think. Actions on save, there we go. And let's say weird menu, but uh, you can activate reformat code and that way your code will be reformatted when saving if you want that. But make sure if you do that to actually disable markdown because, well, there's an issue with formatting markdown files um, for Laravel. If you, for example, use them for your emails, then if you indent your markdown code incorrectly, it might lead to your emails being well, misaligned or not working at all. So just make sure Markdown is disabled. You can just enable it and try if it works for you. If it works for you, that's great. Maybe it's a misconfiguration on my side, but that's just a, a, a cautionary tale for you. So if you have all this enabled, then you should be able to see. We change this file, we go right, and then we form it. For example, this uh, configuration has a strict setting. So I have a custom pint.json. Wait, let me see if we go to the pint.json. So you can see that we have declare strict types enabled. This is why when you just, you just saw uh, when I delete that and save my file, it comes back. Pint.json works for your local installation, which is great, which is especially great because I did not have to use a file watcher, which uh, is very, weird to set up so if you give it to someone new they just look at you like what why do i have to import an xml file uh, yeah the steps are weird so this is the easiest solution i am not sure why i have to still set it up per project i really <laughs> i really wish i just would have to set this once uh, yeah but that's the way i do it and i think that's the best way to use Pint with PHP Storm.